I get asked this question all the time and it's, can I replace my gas furnace or my HVAC system myself? The answer is yes. You can potentially save thousands of dollars by tackling this project yourself. However, there are some caveats with doing this yourself. Number one being, do you have the mechanical ability to do this yourself? If you don't know how a gas furnace or how a AC system functions, you should probably either hire a company to do this, which you can still save a ton of money. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how, or you can build your knowledge on this, um, gain that mechanical experience before you tackle this project. If you have time and you're just trying to be preemptive, there's a lot of people that really should not be touching their gas furnace because they don't understand the safety hazards with gas and electricity and refrigerant and things of that nature. Now, that being said, if you understand that, I absolutely think you can do this yourself. So of all of the questions that I get when it comes to replacing your gas furnace or your HVAC system altogether, uh, the questions are about permitting. So I'm just gonna kind of distill this down for you. So in general, a contractor is supposed to pull a permit when they replace an HVAC system. A lot of companies, however, throughout the US do not pull a permit. Uh, they might say that it's a small enough job that it doesn't warrant pulling a permit. But the reality is, is that you as a homeowner, if you decide to replace your gas furnace or your air conditioner or the whole system, you are basically accepting liability should anything happen. The chances of something happening are really slim, but in the event that say your gas furnace catches on fire, you're kind of accepting liability. They could look into that and say, who replaced this gas furnace? It looks like it was replaced recently. Um, that could be a scenario. The odds of that happening are extremely slim. That's the, the whole purpose of having the correct size breaker, having all of the safety mechanisms on a gas furnace. Those things are put into place so that you don't have a catastrophic failure. So I just wanna be transparent about that. Uh, the other thing that some people say is if you ever go to sell your home, that might prevent you from selling it. That is totally false. The inspector just wants to know that that equipment was installed properly. They're not going to call it out and say, you can't sell your house because um, it was installed by the homeowner. Case in point, we bought our house here in Utah. The previous homeowner was an engineer. They replaced the whole system themselves and that was never brought into question. I only knew that because I spoke with the owner. Um, we bought the home through Homey and that was the only reason that we knew. But again, it wasn't an issue and it shouldn't be an issue for you. A lot of times, however, you as the homeowner can still pull your own permit, do the work and still have it inspected and everything is good to go. I've helped a lot of homeowners to do this. So my advice is to look up the requirements for your local ordinance and see if that's something that you can possibly do. So a lot of people in my videos leave comments saying that you as a homeowner cannot purchase HVAC equipment. They simply won't sell it to you. Now that is true when it comes to local HVAC suppliers. However, you can purchase HVAC equipment online through HVACdirect.com. Now this is something that a lot of people don't even realize. They just assume they can't get the equipment because somebody left a comment on YouTube. But the truth is you can purchase equipment and have it shipped to your doorstep in which you can replace it yourself or that segues into option number two, which is you can purchase equipment and have an HVAC contractor then install it. The reality is, is that a lot of contractors want to make all of the labor and all of the markup on the equipment that they're installing. However, there are some contractors that are still willing to install equipment that you purchase. So call around, find a contractor, and see if they'll install brand new equipment that you just purchased, and you can get a price and probably save a ton of money. Now, in addition to HVAC Direct already having really low pricing, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can get an additional 3% off of your order of any equipment on HVAC Direct. In addition to that, HVAC Direct has some really valuable tools that I've used a lot as an HVAC contractor, one of which is their sizing guide. So you can go through and you have different zones here on this map. You can see where you're located at, which zone you're in, how many square footage your home is, and you can effectively determine what the replacement is for your equipment. 
A lot of times I've found that the gas furnaces here in Utah are actually oversized and we'll put in a slightly smaller one and gain more efficiency and still be able to keep the house comfortable. Another way that you can save a lot of money is through rebates. You can click on a link for a certain product. Let's say this ACIQ three ton system. It will show you the active rebates, whether that's a federal rebate, uh, a rebate through your electric company, and it'll show you how much money you can potentially save on rebates. So whether you are trying to do this yourself or you have found a contractor who is willing to do it for you, you can save a ton of money by buying your equipment through HVAC Direct. Now, the other thing I want to address is the warranty on your equipment. People leave comments saying that you will have zero warranty if you do this yourself, and that is 100% false. Now, I'm not sure about other brands, but I know for sure that Goodman products have an out-of-the-box five-year warranty. Now, you as a homeowner can't simply take a part off that's defective and bring it to your Goodman dealer and get a replacement part. They simply won't give it to you. You do have to hire a company to replace that, but the component itself will be free. Now, I will add, if we are helping remotely to install your gas furnace, we can help you to get that 10-year warranty through our Patreon membership, which we'll talk about in just a second. Now, that's not to say that the components of your gas furnace are going to last a lot longer than five years. I've installed many Goodman furnaces and I've had great success with their brand. The other thing that a lot of people bring up is they'll say, well, you have to buy a thousand dollars worth of tools to replace your HVAC system or your gas furnace. But the reality is you could save several thousand dollars. So even if you purchase, say, 500 to a thousand dollars worth of tools, you're still winning in the long run. Now, if you've seen my other videos on replacing a gas furnace or an HVAC system, you've probably seen the tools that are required. If you're curious where to find those tools, simply go down to the video description, click my favorite HVAC tools, and you can find all of those tools broken down into different categories in my Amazon store, and you can pick those up there. Now, if you're looking to replace your furnace or your system and you have the mechanical skill set, but you just want some guidance on how to do it, um, what things to look out for, we do have a remote support membership at patreon.com slash DIY HVAC guy. It is $200 per month. If you only use it for one month, you can cancel it after that and only be charged for that amount. So if you have questions when it comes to sizing, locating the correct equipment, uh, which tools to pick up, uh, how to do certain things with the install, that can be an invaluable resource to have. Now, if you'd like to see some step-by-step -step gas furnace replacement videos, you can find that playlist right here, and I hope you find those videos beneficial. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.